What's going on, guys? Etika from the Etika World Network. And as you can see in the title of the fucking video, I need your help really badly. Now, there's a lot of you dudes out there. My videos average 50 to 100,000 views per. And we, there, there's way more of you guys out there than there are over here, you know? So I'm hoping and praying, even though I don't really, but I mean, I, I don't really pray too much too often, but I'm hoping and praying one of you out there will be able to help me out with this issue. Now, it involves XSplit, and before you shit on me for using XSplit over OBS, let me remind you that OBS doesn't have as complex features as XSplit does, and I use XSplit mainly because it's the program I'm most familiar with, and it has way more functionality in terms of um, complicated stream setup, transitions, for instance, easy-to-do transitions, and other things as well. I mean, XSplit... In terms of like its stability isn't the problem it's just um certain functions of it i need your help on trying to figure out something and this is my last resort although it shouldn't be because i should be way more open with you guys but maybe some of you can help me out with this so considering it is an xsplit i do all my videos through xsplit so we are about to take a look at some real hive mind inception type shit so let's go right now you're going to see some inception going on so as you can see this is my desktop if I move XSplit over here, you see my desktop. So that's my desktop background, and I'm moving my XSplit program over there. This is what I'm looking at on my desktop right now. So I know it's going to be a little bit confusing, but try to try to stay with it. You know, like right now, this is my desktop window with XSplit. There's going to be a lot of other windows in here. Ignore those. Right now, the main focus is the first XSplit window in my desktop. You got it? Okay, so now in this XSplit window, in fact, I'm going to maximize this shit so it's not as confusing but um so right now we're looking at my main screen and as you can see i got xsplit but because i'm looking at that it's going to be xsplit you know inception anyways the, the focus of this is going to be these little volume buttons here as you can see here these are volume sliders and in xsplit these allow me to adjust the volume of my microphone and the volume of my computer so for instance you're going to see the volume of me go really low really low and now I bring the volume back up. You see, so that meter controls my volume slider for my microphone. Really cool. Really, really cool. It's convenient, but I got to do it with a mouse click. This one controls the volume for my computer. So for instance, if I play a song, this song is probably going to sound loud as fuck to you guys. But if I turn the volume of this all the way down here, then it doesn't sound as loud. Um, it's still loud, I guess, but you know, not as loud as it was when it was all the way up here. Anyway, so you get the point, right? These little volume sliders are very important when it comes to keeping your volume levels in check for your microphone and for your computer. Very useful stuff. I'm going to turn the song off now. That was just for an example. So I'm going to turn the volume back up. My issue is that I cannot, for the life of me, figure out a way to shortcut the ability to make this volume slider loud or soft, you know what I mean? Like, if only there was a way I could press a key and this can go down, you know? So, of course, obviously, I went to XSplit themselves and I asked them about it. So, you're about to see what I um, sent XSplit over Twitter because I was hoping that they'd be able to help me out. So, we're going to be looking at my desktop here. I hit them up and I said, hey, XSplit. Please, is there any way at all to apply a shortcut to adjust these with keystrokes? So I guess they understood what I was saying, you know, just a way to be able to press a key and make those levels go up or down. It's weird that XSplit doesn't have functions like this implemented, even though it's such a old program. I mean, it gets a lot of updates in a lot of ways, but it doesn't get an update to be able to, you know, apply a shortcut to make the volume levels or the volume sliders easier to manage. I don't understand why. Um, and XSplit responded, and they said, unfortunately, no. You can mute and unmute them through a hotkey, though, which is not what I really want to do. I want to be able to adjust the volume of those sliders with a shortcut or through some means. And I said, what are the chances that a shortcut for this could be made in the future update? It'd be really useful. And then they said, it's possible, but we'll see. Have forwarded this request to our development team. So, I mean, at least they responded to me, and that's good that I got an answer. So this could potentially be something that gets fixed eventually, but... I need, I need something to be able to help me figure this out now. I know they said there's no way to shortcut it, but maybe there's a way to code it in. And that's what I've been trying to learn for the past five days, trying to code 
So as I'm, you can see, I'm here on Lifehacker, and I'm trying to figure out a way that I can somehow map a function to those and then be able to use it with the keyboard. It's, it's some complex shit, man. And I really need to be able to figure this out because I do all my videos with this, and it's just um, very crazy. And then one thing I know as well, too, is that somehow I can affect the volume through Windows here. So as you can see, this is the volume slider, and I'm, I'm going to play. I'm actually going to have XSplit right here. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, though. So there we go. XSplit's a little smaller. Um, actually, let's kind of got to leave it. Well, yeah, this is fine. So I'm going to put XSplit up on this window, and I'm going to have um, my volume settings here. So as you can see, I got speakers and system sound, recording locally, um, XSplit, I'm guessing, and all these other programs. So now when I play this song, it's going to sound loud as fuck. I'm sorry. I, this is for an example purpose only. So the song is loud as hell, right? But if I go here, you can see that the song somehow drops in volume to an acceptable point. I don't know what it is, but I'm guessing that somehow this volume slider on the volume mixer is able to control that slider here in a way. Because if I turn this one up, then the volume obviously shoots up, as you guys can see. But if I turn it down, then it's not as bad, which means that that slider is somehow linked to that thing. I know most of you aren't going to know what the hell I'm talking about or how to even begin to approach this problem, and I do appreciate the support either way. But if you know anything about this or have some kind of inkling as to how to work this out, then please don't hesitate to talk to me on Twitter or in the comments of this YouTube video. I'm going to be in those comments because i got to figure this out in order for me to get my videos back on track. Or if there's some other way, some other way that I could potentially bypass this issue, because the thing that I'm having trouble with is the fact that I need to be able to control this these volume sliders I need to be able to control these volume sliders without having to constantly click this because constantly clicking it with the mouse is very cumbersome and it makes things more difficult when I'm doing like news videos and I gotta be able to like you know look at the camera right away or whatever that's why whenever I do my videos it's like what's going on and I'm looking at this thing trying to adjust it to make sure that the volumes at the right point so it's not too loud or too soft and it just becomes a massive headache because it's like if I inaccurately hit it or I don't get it on the right point to where the volume is at a good level, then I gotta like redo it, and it's and it's all with the mouse, and it's like it's just, I'm just so tired of it. I don't want to be able to do this with the mouse. Anymore. I want to be able to apply a keyboard shortcut to be able to just press a key, and that shit. Like if I press like this key and it goes down, you see what I mean? Or press that key, and it goes up. Or I can like hold it down and it goes up as long as I hold it down. I don't know, man. I'm I don't know. If you can help me out with this, I will I will give you a sexual favor. I promise. I fucking promise. You're seeing me in a very fucked up state right now. Because, you know, I've been working hard at this shit trying to figure it out. Now I'm at my wits end, guys. Man, this music is still going. My bad. Whoops. Yeah, no, let me just turn the music off. Please, if you know anything about how to approach this, or maybe a workaround. People were saying use a volume mixer or something like that, but I don't know how to begin to even start to use that. You guys are my lifeline. You're the way I am able to make an income, and you're the way I'm able to, you know, be able to solve these issues. I don't really have, like, people at work or whatever because, you know, my job is at home, but I'm, I'm just praying that you guys are going to be able to help me out with this one as well, too. You've already done so much to help my black ass out in the beginning and, um, you know, just everything else that you've done until now. But if you can save my life with this shit, then I promise you I will, I will, I will give you a session. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm just playing around. I'm being an idiot as usual, but your boy really does need the help. So please, in the comments of this video or on Twitter, let me know if you know anything about how to fix this or make this so I can adjust these settings. Explit said they might be able to implement that in the future as a volume as a shortcut to be able to adjust this volume slider, but I don't know how much long I don't know how long I'm gonna be have to wait for that. If you know anything, let me know, guys. I'll talk to you in the next video, hopefully soon. This is what I've been struggling with these past five days. Take care of yourselves. Of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. I got hope. I got hope that somebody out there might be able to help me out. But if not, I guess I'll just figure something else out. Peace.